Hi everyone, my name is Shannon. I'm the assistant curator here at the Tom, and today we're going to be taking a closer look at this impressive installation of paintings from our collection by John Abrams. Abrams is from Montreal and he's been exhibiting across Canada and the United States since the early 80s. He's a figurative artist and he sources his images from mass media sources like film, newspaper, and even Canadian history books. He draws on these um, existing cultural references to provide the viewer with an entry point. And from there, he uses his artistic agency to uh, hopefully alter the way that we interact with it and the conversation that comes out of it. His works range in scale from really large canvases to smaller paintings on masonite. And sometimes he'll take the smaller paintings and he'll group them together in really interesting configurations. And you can see that the work behind me is a perfect example of that. On the right is Landscape Wheel Blue, and on the left is Landscape Wheel Red. They were both completed in 2002 and gifted to the gallery by the artist in 2013. Each circle is comprised of 18 individual works, and each work depicts a landmark from somewhere across Canada. Some of the landmarks are natural and others are man-made. They're scenic depictions of icebergs, mountain ranges, and waterfalls, which are contrasted with either notable architectural landmarks like the Parliament Building in Ottawa, or signs of industrial activity, such as a train moving through a landscape and an oil rig in Alberta. In looking at the work as a whole, the paintings resemble a series of snapshots um, that someone may have taken during a road trip across the country. They also resemble the cardboard film reels that are used in handheld stereoscopes or what most of us refer to as a Viewmaster. Although today Viewmasters are used primarily as a children's toy, when they were first introduced to the public in the late 1930s, they were presented as an alternative to scenic postcards and were sold as a souvenir at many tourist attractions. The fact that these landmarks are presented in a circle is also a reminder for me that each place, even if they're separated by a considerable distance, is interconnected. And how the actions taken in one place creates a ripple effect that is experienced beyond the border of each image. The fact that one of the wheels is blue and the other red can also be interpreted based on our cultural understanding and interpretation of those colors. The red wheel feels a bit ominous in comparison to the blue one and speaks to the threat of global warming. What's really interesting is that the artist is actually colorblind, so he doesn't see these colors in the way that most of us do but he's definitely aware of their symbolism and he uses that to create this really uncanny snapshot of our country in the 21st century.